Hello everyone, today we'll be talking about a summary of intravenous anesthetics. So this is basically a summary of intravenous anesthetics. These are more detailed video that I've uploaded. So if you're looking for a detailed video, you can go through that. I'll include the link in the description. So propofol. Mechanism of action, it's not fully understood. Propofol is thought to act as an agonist on GABA receptors and sodium channels of the reticular formation. It has a rapid onset and recovery. Effects include hypnotic effects, antiemetic, antipyretic, anticonvulsant, bronchodilation. It produces intracranial pressure and has got no analgesic or muscle relaxant effects. Side effects include hypotension, which is dose dependent, respiratory depression, which is also dose dependent, anaphylaxis, which is especially in patients with allergies to soybean or egg products and pain on injection. Indication standard for anesthesia injection. It can also be used for total intravenous anesthesia, which is TIFA. Propofol is the drug of choice, especially for patients with an intermediate to high risk of post-operative nausea and vomiting. Intermediate. Mechanism of action is it acts on GABA receptors in the reticular formation. It has a rapid onset and recovery. Effects include hypnotic effects, reduction in intracranial pressure, anticonvulsant effects, little to no effect on the cardiovascular system, little to no effect on respiration, no analgesic or muscle relaxant effect. Side effects include transient acute adrenal insufficiency due to adrenal cortic suppression, reduced cortisol production, post-operative nausea and vomiting, Painful injection, which is avoided by administering an opiate prior to injection, and myoclonus. Indications, anesthesia for patients with hemodynamic instability. Ketamine. Mechanism of action is it is an NMG receptor antagonist. It belongs to the aryl cyclohexylamine class. It has a rapid onset. Effects include dissociative anesthesia which is a unique anesthetic state with analgesia, intact spontaneous breathing, amnesia, and no complete loss of consciousness. So this is where a patient might appear awake. However, they are not in their normal state of mind. Then there's strong analgesia, bronchodilation. Sympathomimetic effects include increasing blood pressure, increasing heart rate, and increasing cardiac output. It also increases cerebral blood flow, due to which it's contraindicated in patients that have got high intracranial pressure. Side effects include nystagmus, increase in oxygen demand, and increase in pulmonary arterial pressure. There is increased intracranial pressure due to increased cerebral blood flow, acute psychotomimetic effects, there's disorientation, hallucinations, vivid dreams, nightmares, and or abnormal EEG. Concomitant administration of benzodiazepines is recommended to avoid these effects. Rapid injection or high doses can lead to respiratory depression and this increase in salivation. So the indications include ideal emergency anesthetic for polytrauma patients and other patients with risk of hypertension. It can also be used for treatment resistant asthma. It can be used for short painful procedures such as fracture reduction, treatment is resistant, treatment of resistant depression. Barbiturates, so the agents that are commonly used are thiopentyl and methohexetol. Thiopentyl is more widely used compared to methohexetol. So mechanism of action is enhanced GABA action, which leads to enhanced duration of chloride channel opening and hyperpolarization of postsynaptic neurons, which lead to reduced neuronal excitability in the brain. The hypotensy, highly lipid soluble, which is rapid onset of action due to quick transfer across the blood-brain barrier. There is a brief recovery time due to redistribution into the skeletal muscles and adipose tissue. So the effects include hypnotic effects, reduction in intracranial pressure, which is due to reduced cerebral blood flow, little to no analgesic or muscle relaxant effects. Side effects include hypertension, which is dose-dependent, respiratory depression and or apnea, which is dose dependent, laryngospasm, bronchospasm due to histamine release, myoclonus, painful injection, visual hallucinations, vivid dreams, 
bradycardia, arrhythmia, cytochrome P450 induction. Indications include IV anesthesia induction, patient in short procedures with minimal pain and high risk of raised intracranial pressure, reduction of intracranial pressure for brain edema following trauma or surgery, sedation for, ele sedation for electroconvulsive therapy ECT, the drug commonly is methoxyacetal, convulsion during or after anesthesia. So what are the contraindications? These include hypersensitivity, conditions in which an increase in blood pressure would be hazardous, severe cardiovascular decompensation, porphyria, Addison's disease, liver or kidney disease, severe anemia, thyroid disorders, myasthenia gravis, asthma. So this is basically a summary of the indication and characteristics of the drugs that we just talked about. You can go through it in your own free time. So, and this was my reference. So that's all about the summary of intravenous anesthetic. If you like the video, please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you.